On the 15th of February 2013, an unknown object thought to be around 20 meters in diameter, traveling at 66,000 kilometers an hour, exploded high above Chelyabinsk in Russia with 20 to 30 times the energy of the Hiroshima atomic bomb. The resulting shockwave left 1,500 people injured and over 7,000 buildings damaged. There are an estimated 20,000 asteroids near Earth, and this is only one of the areas in which our planet is vulnerable. In 2009, ESA launched its Space Situational Awareness Program to focus on three main areas of hazard – space weather, near-Earth objects, and space surveillance and tracking. So what systems do we have in place to protect us from potentially dangerous threats from space? Recently, with a mandate from the UN, ESA coordinated a high-level group of space agencies from around the world to organize a global response should a threatening asteroid ever be found heading towards Earth. The Space Mission Planning Advisory Group will develop missions that can be flown to intercept an asteroid. We think that we can cope with uh, deflecting an asteroid with two different technologies mainly. One is what we call kinetic impactor, hitting the asteroid and pushing it out of the way. The second one is take a heavy spacecraft and use it as, say, a gravity tractor. So by the mass of the spacecraft, you pull the asteroid away. Another menace we face is space debris, of which there's plenty after 50 years of intense spaceflight activity. While it almost certainly won't kill or injure people on Earth, it can cause havoc amongst our current fleet of satellites. Of the 16 to 17,000 objects that we can track from um, ground stations up there, um, just about 1,000 are operational spacecraft. All the rest are remnants of past spaceflight activities and more than one half of these objects are in fact fragments, fragments from on-orbit collisions recently and also fragments from on-orbit uh, explosions. In response to this, ESA's Space Situational Program has developed radar tracking stations whose sole job it is to monitor space debris, as well as implementing missions to clean up objects that pose a threat. Monitoring space weather, the third area covered by the Space Situational Awareness Program, means monitoring the particles and radiation coming from the sun. Massive solar eruptions, when directed towards the Earth, can be so powerful that they can damage satellites, have harmful effects on astronauts in space, and have been known to take out power lines. But today, thanks to the round-the-clock observations of the Sun by satellites like Proba 2 and SOHO, it's possible to give advance warning of imminent storms of solar particles. So all in all, Europe's Space Situational Awareness Programme means that we're attentive to what's going on in space. And with the recent meeting of the Space Mission Advisory Group, the initial steps have been taken to prevent or soften this kind of disaster scenario.